Thanks for that, Josh. Cretonians, the time has come. The rapidly evolving feud that I'm sure you've all been following between Queens TV and Golden Words reached an apex, a climax, if you will, this week, when Golden Words had the gall not to mention us at all. Not once. I don't actually read Golden Words, but I know of two people who do. And this refusal to acknowledge Queens TV is a gross infringement on the journalistic integrity that I presume its readers demand out of the paper. It's a technique known as the media blackout, where an important story is not reported on by the very institutions it threatens. Which I guess means after all this we've learned one very important thing about Golden Words. Golden Word sees Queen's TV as a threat. So, uh, what, what's that? Wait, wait. Oh, they, oh, they showed a, a quarter page. A oh, color. Wow. And they're giving us the, f oh, <laughs> wow, wow. Golden Words, you've gone too far. I mean, that is it. There's only one logical direction two groups of pale, sickly joke writers can take this. Inter-campus semi-serious student media won upsmanship Olympic Games to restore sanity! Or... It's commercials. That's right! We at Queen's TV challenge Golden Words to not just one game, not just two games, but five games, or some other arbitrary number of games we collectively agree on at a time later on. It will be held at Clark Hall Pub, and we will decide once and for all who controls the media at Queens. There will be dodgeball, foosball, Mario Kart, uh, ball, uh, and others. So Golden Words, if you have the balls to challenge us, uh, please, please bring them because uh, we could really use the equipment. And please reply to the RSVP we sent in the mail. I mean, we even, we even learned calligraphy to just write it nicely for you. So I hope you can make it. Moving on.